All right, Mike Givingham here, Natural Current. We have our Sunray Hybrid Flow Controlled Solar Pump System for commercial pools, ponds, community fountains, residential fountains, uh, fish hatcheries. I mean, anybody that needs to be able to control water, typically in a 24 seven uh, system here. So if you have gallons per minute that you have to meet for your commercial pool or your water feature or your pond, this is the hybrid setup that you would need. You have your AC and DC pool pump systems. So the DC pump is gonna run off the sun, offset any kind of runtime gallons per minute that is required for your particular situation. If the sun goes away and it's super cloudy out or raining out, then the AC pump, the three phase AC pump, is gonna go ahead and turn on, make sure it always keeps that gallons per minute flow rate that uh, you're looking to achieve. So right now we are getting about 86 gallons a minute. 88 gallons a minute so that's what we're doing right now with no sun out in the clouds it's been a rainy day um, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn on our ac pump so we can hit our flow rate right now i have it programmed at 130 gallons a minute so right now we're not gonna we're not at 130 gallons a minute we're at 88 gallons a minute what we're able to achieve in this environment off the solar on the solar pump so right now this solar pump's running and you can't even hear it. I mean, it's that quiet and that silent. And we have our suction going right through a cartridge filter back into the pool. So this is how I plumb it in. If you're wondering why I have the filter lifted, you ought to ask yourself, why aren't you doing it? Less back pressure, the better. Less PVC twist and turns is what you should be achieving here. Uh, water's not gonna come back through because we have the check valves. This is typically how uh, you should plumb it in, or I would recommend it anyways. As you'll notice, I use all sweep elbows here. Um, you might have noticed it just got a little brighter. The sun's popping out a bit. So what kind of gallons per minute are we getting right now? Yeah, about 129 gallons per minute is what we're getting right now with the sun coming out and, and then it's going to go away. So there's the sun popping out a bit. But I'm going to go ahead and set it up so we're in a hybrid scenario. So you can see how it works with AC and DC, the hybrid mixing, uh, keeping your flow rate at 130. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in right now. Okay, now I plug in our VFD and our flow meter's going. So we have only have 117, 115 gallons a minute off the sun right now. So our solar pump's doing everything. As you can see, our AC pump is not running at all. And turn it on, and you'll see that I turn it on, you'll see the flow rate start going up, right? 122, 123. That's because our AC pump's turning on because we set it at 130 gallons a minute for your particular swimming pool, your commercial pool, your fish hatchery, your pond, your water feature, keeping it at the same length, same height of, uh, that you're looking to achieve or the same flow over the waterfall. And that's what it's doing. So now everything's running, everything's turned on as a hybrid setup. We have AC and DC working together, mixing to make sure that you cash in whatever the sun's gonna be able to give you today in this rainy day. So the sun's gonna go in, the sun's gonna go out, you're gonna say, well, am I gonna save any money? And absolutely you are. So what we're gonna see is where we're at right now, we're at a 132 gallons a minute. It's gonna go up and really try to match that set point of 135 gallons a minute. So it kind of goes up, it goes down, it kind of settles in uh, to that 135 is what it's always trying to achieve. So now everything's running great. So we're pumping the water, filtering the water, as I was saying, you'll notice that I didn't use any 90 degree fittings. No swimming pool should have 90 degree fittings any longer. And if you have them, you gotta cut them out and put sweep elbows in there. Uh, Cause you're gonna get an extra 10, 20 gallons a minute just by doing that. So, and your bill uh, will go down substantially as well if you plumb it this way, uh, which is a little intelligence, a little easier flow for the water goes a long way. Uh, for solar and variable speed pumping, but just on any kind of pumping. I mean, if you have your eight two horsepower AC just screaming all the time, then having it plumbed wisely will go a long way. You'll watch your utility bill go down. So it's uh, obviously cloudy, overcast, uh, rainy day. It's not raining right now. The sun's starting to pop out a smidge. And right now we're at 135 gallons a minute. So 135 gallons a minute is our sweet spot. That's what we programmed it for, for this particular body of water. And right now the solar is trying to chip in what it can. So this solar check valve's all the way open. Let me clear this up. So you can see the check valve on the solar is all the way open. And our AC pump is barely even on. So if you're wondering, what are we really doing here? The solar pump is really handling all the flow. You know, we're at the, the AC pump, the three phase is only at 
25 hertz. Normally that runs at 60 hertz, our three phase AC motor. So that normally runs at 60 hertz. And right now, all it needs to do is 26 hertz. So you're using probably about three amps, 26 hertz. So you're saving a lot of money actually right now with no sun out. You can see the sun right up here, but you'll see how it kind of brightens up and our flow rate will start even going more. And you'll watch these check valves open and shut on the AC. So here just shows you that the AC pump is barely running and our solar pump is just, you know, pretty much all the way open with no sun out. I mean, you can, you can see the, probably the circle in the sun right there. Um, but as you can tell, solar pump is doing most of the work right now, even in this environment. And right now we are at 135, 136 gallons a minute. We're only, the AC pump's only using 27 hertz. So you're right now, you're saving probably about 40% that you would normally not be saving. So if you had, since we have this hybrid setup, we're saving close to 40 to 60%. So right now you're saving probably about 80% of your pumping right now. That's the savings you're doing right now because AC pump is barely pumping and the solar pumps all the way, even in this cloudy weather where the sun can't really shine through, you're still seeing at this particular moment, about 80%, 70% savings without the sun even out. Now when the sun pops out, the AC pump will just be turned off pretty much all day if the sun's out all day. But right now in this environment, with a rainy day and cloudy and the clouds are just kind of moving on through, then you'll notice the AC is still on. You know, it's, it's barely doing what it needs to do. I mean, it's barely pumping. Again, you can take a good look at the check valves and that really kind of gives you a visual effect of what we're achieving here. And we're at uh, 139, 140, which will go back down to, you know, try to get that 135 sweet spot. All right, well, I'll do a little bit more video, but this should really kind of show how it even works in a rainy day. So in a rainy day, you're still gonna save, you know, close to 80% on this particular moment of time right now. Now, obviously when it comes to evening time, the AC pump's gonna take over, the solar pump's gonna go down like around five, six, seven o'clock at night. And then in the morning time, then the solar pump's gonna ramp up and now you're gonna have all that savings of 100% throughout that entire day. All right, Mike Giving Am here and I'm gonna do a little quick video of showing how cloudy it is. And we're on solar only right now. And we're doing about 94, 95 gallons a minute. So I don't have the hybrid turned on. In other words, the AC pump is not trying to keep the gallons per minute setting. All right, once again, we're here with a super cloudy day. Can't see the sun whatsoever. The solar pump is running. It's doing about 76 gallons a minute for your particular needs, for the fountain height, circulation of the pool or the pond, fish hatchery, whatever you're needing to do to circulate water. This hybrid setup is definitely the way to go 100%. Um, uh, looks like hopefully it pops out a little bit, but now we should have plenty of strong sun to turn off this AC pump. So right now we're at 148 gallons a minute. So you're going to see this AC pump just turn off. There's no need for it to be on right now. Sun's out. You're going to see right here that it's just going to wind down and turn off. All right. So right now we're not using any energy on the grid because the sun's out. But now with this rain cloud coming in, you're gonna see that the AC might start turning on again just to offset, all right? So that's exactly how it works year round, every day, saving you energy on what the sun's giving you that day. So it'll keep doing that throughout the day. So you're gonna use every ounce of the sun's energy to save you money on your utility bill for your commercial pool, your fish hatchery, your pond, whatever you have, a fountain that you need to keep a certain height for your commercial or residential uh, location. So this should really give you a strong idea of how well this system works and how much savings you'll be able to achieve, which we estimate about 40 to 60% every single month off your utility bill running your water environment, which is great savings and so much of a reduction on your carbon footprint running your motors. This is definitely the most intelligent way to filter and process your water anywhere in the world. Sun's out, powering through really well. So you see it'll almost turn off or turn off, all depends on the intensity of the sun. And looks like it's just kind of going through the cloud. So there's just not that great of intensity to give you 100% savings. 
but rest assured, the check valve on the AC pump is barely open whatsoever. I mean, the solar pump is just all the way open, running well. So now, now this AC pump will definitely turn off. Sun kind of popped out really well. Oh yeah, we got a little blue sky. So you'll see that the solar pump is really handling all the flow required. AC pump, there's no need to run get any energy off the grid. So now, since the sun's out, turn off. All right, so now we're grid free. So we got a little patch here of clearing and the sun's coming through, hitting the panels and, and we're 100% sustainable right now. So now you're doing 100% savings on your bill at you know, three o'clock, I think it is, about two, three o'clock in the afternoon right now. Now you'll see that the clouds are rolling in pretty well. So as soon as the water, as soon as the gallons per minute start changing a bit, you'll see that the solar, the AC pump will start spinning just to make sure that that gallons per minute set point is exactly what the health department or your particular needs are uh, met. All right. Good demonstration. Thank you.